What do you do to keep your home safe when you leave? Christy. Christy yeah. uh, hey. You say, you say. <laughs> oh, let's do this in unison. Uh, Christy, she's got some <laughs> great tips uh, that'll leave you worry-free when you leave your home. Yeah. Well, as we're traveling during the summer months, a good chance somebody might try to break into your property. But we've got some tips about how you can safeguard your home and deter crooks from coming inside. You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning. Well, you know when you're getting ready to go on vacation, go on a long trip, uh, you think, okay, well, let's leave this light on. Maybe you've got timers for the lights yeah. or, you know, you got to make it seem like somebody's there when you're not there so people don't want to take advantage of your empty house. You want it to stay safe from criminals. Um, so you think of different measures to, to make sure that it stays safe. Well, now there are some simple and surprising things that you can do to make sure your house isn't a target. Christy Siefkin, Give us the skinny on how to keep your home safe. Well, good morning to you guys. Come on inside. You are a welcome guest in this home, but uh, crooks aren't, obviously. And the good news is there's some tips that we're going to learn about today to help you prevent uh, somebody from breaking into your house. And John Esposito, International uh, Crime Prevention Specialist. Did I get your title right? right yep. Good. It's a mouthful. He's going to show us some of those tips, starting with changing the screws in this little kick plate here. Talk to us about that, John. Right. The strike plate that builders use, typically they're going to put in a small strike. We want to take these small screws out and put in long screws to beef up the security side of the door. You can do this in both the strike plates as well as hinges okay. up on the door and in the frame. Great. We're also going to move on, but as we do, we're going to look at the security screen door because law enforcement professionals will tell you it's a good idea to have a security screen door that can eliminate all the things we've been talking about. Right. Let's go and, on to the garage. And there's a list uh, that's provided by First Impression, the company that John works with, um, to show you all of these tips in case you forget. But let's head on over to the garage that somebody can maybe punch out a window and break in. Uh, and they pull this cord, is that right, to get in? That's correct. This is the emergency release. By pulling this down the garage door, then can be open. So we put a simple uh, a zip tie up here to deactivate that or give this added strength so they can't just pull this and then open the door. Right. One other thing on the garage is that people sometimes don't know about is they've got an, uh, a lock right here on the alarm. They could simply hold this down for a couple of seconds and that will deactivate any exterior remote controls. Wonderful. And windows, another area someone might try to break in. You've got a, a few different locks. Show me these. We do. A uh, couple of different varieties, maybe for children or seniors, where you could quick release these. This one is a little bit more. If you're going to be gone for a while, you could uh, secure that down. Okay. We have the typical... Oh, there, goes there goes one of our other alarms getting set off, guys. So talk to us about this since it just happened. These alarms uh, tell you that someone's messing with the window over here. Someone is just... Vibration will also set that off. So we got a lot of ways that we can secure a window. Uh, there's also a, a simple sash lock. So we teach people, and that's what we're going to go over Saturday at the seminar, is how to do all these things. So that's an important point too, guys. This event going on today, and we've got one more thing to show you, but uh, this event going on today in Scottsdale, we're going to learn about all these tips, um, and where can people visit if they want to come to the event today? That's be at the Scottsdale showroom that's at 15507 North Scottsdale Road in the Zacala Shopping Center. And one final thing, Thing that we're going to show is kind of a neat little thing. These are diversion safes. We see some brand name products here where you can actually ah, put some nice. of your valuables and uh, spread the wealth around the home. But for 10 cents, I made my own out of a simple can of corn here. Just take off the tops, put those in the pantry, and that'll slow down a burglar. That's the idea, slow them down. Right. That's a wealth of information, John. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And if you'd like to get this checklist and learn about other tips for improving your home, uh, head out this afternoon. We'll have information on our website so that you can uh, safeguard your home and make sure that nobody gets inside. John, thank you so, thank much. You so much. You guys have a good day. All right. Yeah, Good think, tips. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we always like to call it advice. Advice sounds more hefty than tips. And tips. Uh -huh, you know. I like it.